Our team ID is SG2002. I started off with learning scratch when my parents uh, signed me up for a coding class. That was the first time I've e I ever um, ex tried coding. After learning that, I also signed up for a course on Lego Mindstorms. I started off by using NXT and slowly advanced uh, to using EV3. After that, I decided to also join my school robotics club as I gained a key interest in robotics and coding. In the uh, robotics club in my school, I've had multiple co uh, competitions I could have taken part in. In primary four, I took part in the Cool Space Rescue U12 competition. And in this year, in June uh, 2021, which is this year, I also took part in U12 Cool Space Autonomous Drive. Our task is to navigate a robot through this futuristic Japan city from right over, from over here all the way all the way to this parking lot over there. We have while well, we have to navigate it through yellow checkpoints to get to the parking lot. Sometimes there will be some color has as shown and it will be really hard to navigate it through as sometimes it will just not go where we expected it to go. So we, we had to use a broader time range and color range. At the end, our, we, it managed to work. The challenge task could be broken down into many mini tasks. Usually it would involve certain color sensors or ultrasound. The overall mission would definitely be solved if the above mini tasks are completed. During which we had to use some AI algorithm. We had to use the color sensor. For example, as you can see, there is this color right up here. Do know that this word is not very mirrored. So it should be over there. And we and if that if the robot senses that color, it will have to turn right. At the same time, we also have to use the time range. If it senses it at that certain time range, then it will turn. Otherwise, it will not. Sometimes the robot will not follow the correct route because our time range is inaccurate. We have to use trial and error to find the correct time range in order for the robot to move successfully and accurately. This, doing this um, makes the robot move accurately, which then helps us get a better timing. Overall, we had. I think we had a really great timing. And if I were to do this again, I think that it would be better to have a, a slightly shorter time range. Despite that, I understand that using a broader time range would definitely would definitely help. Sometimes, if it's too broad, then it would just turn. And it would. It could. It could just turn anywhere. Same goes for a broader color range. I would also use a faster speed as from what I have tested out, it really does not affect the results. It is plus it is really easy for me to simply just change the colors. I think that through this competition, me and my partner have learned how important teamwork is. And we have also learned that we have to be more precise when coding and also have to use a lot of trial and error.